Don't think I'm crazy. Um, okay. Too late. Too late. Yeah. Never. God, I really wish I could like learn the whole I climbing on wasp. And cast fly on you. you know? <laughs> 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 Yes, I can. Sonna. Ah! <laughs> oh, push aside the dollhouse. Oh. <laughs> Your stuff, eh? Don't. Jeez. Yes, how are you? I'm. Oh, just fine. Um, would you? Could I just hold your hand, just yes, in case? Yes, 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 just. Yes. I really want this to work. Yeah. All right. All right. Just in cool. case. Just kind of snuggle up next to Imogen. Okay. Sleep tight, everybody. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Don't just, yeah, I actually am a little creeped out tonight. Oh, I'm Not sorry. by you, obviously. <clears throat> good, good morning. How was morning. it? Did you I, dream? I didn't have any. No, nothing. <sighs> All right. It's no. It's it's a good thing. It's good. Yeah. I didn't want one. <laughs> you left me for six years. Fuck you. It was 112. You can just you, you know, can the parents, tell. Like, her parents look a lot older right. than they actually do. Right. Right. You pull back. No, no authorized. Oh, and glancing inside, in the tangle, they are jammed around a glowing purple rock. Imogen. What? Oh my god. Oh. Their love. Their love manifested. I don't think a that. Glowing rock. No. Lana, I don't think that's what happened. What do you want? How to get it? They didn't they came manifest. They alive again, didn't they? I think they're alive. What's Fern doing right now? Yeah, I look around. I look, I look towards the rocks. Kissing the... Two of the rocks are oh. missing. No, don't touch it, don't touch it. As you reach for it. Yeah, you oh, did it! It's just going through the dolls, but you're right, I guess it is in there. <laughs> A gentle voice begins to creep into the back of your mind as your fingers find the proximity of the stone. Good. No. 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 Do you not want it? Sorry, was that out loud? Did you hear her? For a, for a, for a second. We heard him. I'm gonna uh, get a, my handkerchief off my neck. Mm. I'm gonna reach in and grab the rock and chuck it across the room. Okay, you chuck it and it shatters. Oh. The color within diminished. Oh. Do you, do you think Pate is conspiring against me? I don't think that's what happened. I don't know how it got in there, but I, I doubt with my entire being that Pate got a rock You're right, and no, brought it in the house. Paranoid, he'd never betray me. You want a dangerous pair. Oh, 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 Be warned, child. Not everyone's looking out for your well-being like I am. I'll keep you safe. Shh. Wait. What? Sorry, wait, um, wait, hold that thought. Um, bladder full from the morning. I've got to, I go outside. Okay, you're outside and there's like kind of the early morning, uh, sunlight starting to creep over the western horizon. Uh, you kind of like hits your eye a little bit as you come out of the initial like cave entrance onto the little platform that coasts upward to the top of the mesa, but you're alone. I'm alone, check around, <coughs> all look good. Do you want to share a little bit more of that information? Tired of you withholding. I'm just paying attention from my distant, forgotten perch, my dear. You continue to wander around things that hold all manner of delightful and dangerous magics. You know the impact they can have on you. You know the impact that magic has had on you. I claim responsibility myself. So just consider this recompense. 
trying to keep you safe. For if you die, I go too. Well. Maybe you shouldn't be so confident that you'll always have this lifeline. I'm always confident, dear. Tell me. I know you've been listening. What do you make of this um, moon prison uh, situation? I what spend would some you of do? My, what? I spend some of my time doing a bit of research on solstices myself. It's incredible the things that can happen during the proper alignments with the proper preparations. We had a bit of a stress timeline and had to do with what we had at our disposal, and we still achieved something great. I can't even begin to fathom what some others might be up to. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited to watch from within. So please, continue. At the very least, satiate my curiosity. At the very most, get as involved as you like. Inside, shake her out of my head. Mm. Who's ready for some morning tea? Thanks. Yes. What yes. You got? I don't know. I'm gonna go raid the cabinet. So I'll be back. <laughs> it's like their brain became a bit uh, oh, oh, overloaded. Maybe. Whoa. Yeah. Um. There was a lot of um. A lot. Of everything. Like when you're in a crowded room? All at once. Kinda. Ladna is in a weird headspace, and suddenly she just starts hearing this like this rushing in her ears, and it's like she can hear the words that Delilah just said about how her friends are going to betray her, and how I'm in a dangerous place, and how I need to protect myself, and my friends are gonna betray me, and my friends are gonna betray me, and my friends are gonna betray me. And I walk up to him, and I, I wrap my hands around his head, and I say, don't you fucking do this, wake up! And I'm going to do Hunger of the Shadow. You hear that voice curl up from in the back of your mind once more and be like, you see, at the end of all things, only yourself can be relied on when all love is taken. And with that like sense of all love is taken, that cold sensation emerges through your fingers. And that glowing red light you see in the face of fresh cut grass briefly turns a black, void-like umbra. And you hear this creaking of metal as all the joints in the body of fresh cut grass immediately seem to almost corrode. Like the metal had been left to the elements for hundreds of years, you see rust and oil and all these sort of just dark chemicals and elements of, of eroded material just suddenly apparate and fill the gaps of their body. And with that, you feel this rush, this overwhelming surge of power within the center of your chest and your gentle, cold, Slow heartbeat for a moment fills with warmth and life. I'll add to that, uh, as FCG's eyes turn black, mine flash with red, almost the same color as his, and as I'm gripping, almost digging my nails, cracking his metallic faceplate, just under my breath, you hear, this isn't who you are. Uncertain who she's talking to. And you just throw him to the ground. Don't let go, I you take just it and I just keep. Hold the head there, a limp, fresh cut grass. The eyes now darkened as consciousness as slips. My, as my eyes fade, I'll, I guess looking at her, I'll just say, you were never alive. You see Laudna's tip of her black, cracked fingernails sink into the soft metal, almost puncturing it. Stop! <clears throat> I'm gonna 
cast calm emotions <clears throat> on this whole fucking bubble. Okay. So. Oh my god. Oh my gods. Oh. I, I gently lay him down. Lodna just 18 points of healing. Oh, thank you. Like, mm -hmm. kind of quietly starts backing away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm... I have just kind of kept slowly walking backwards, and now I'm pressed up against the corner, hair um, dripping over my face as uh, she's just deeply distressed and looking kind of like the ring girl in the fucking corner. Honestly, I don't. I don't think anyone here is as afraid of you as you are. Good. As we're walking out, mm. I'm just gonna stop Ladna. Mm. I know that wasn't you. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You you went outside before that. You were talking to her. She wanted the other rock. The one that Sashimi gave birth to. <laughs> What a sentence. <laughs> well, she can't have it. Right? She said that everyone, that all of you all would betray me. And then I, I came in and. Lana. Fresh cut grass, they did that and. She's an evil bitch who hung you from a tree. She's not gonna say anything that helps you. You know that she's using you. What if that is, what if they were right? Everyone's gonna betray you? No, what, when FCG said that I've never been alive. What do you mean? I don't know. I know if I know I was alive. I just you had alive. I just don't know what it was about me that FCG listen to all of our memories. He listened to everything we've said in, in earnestness, and, and he's listened to our fears and our hopes and our dreams. And in that moment, they used that against you, and that's all that was. They knew what would hurt you the most, all right? I'm just starting to wonder if I was always a blank canvas, even in my youth. You have one of the biggest sparks I've ever seen. <laughs> you don't need a pulse for that. Pale in comparison to yours. <laughs> um. We'll get through this. We'll get FCG better. And we're gonna get her out of your head. All right. And then we're gonna, you know, Kill that god on Ruidus, I don't know. <laughs> Might as well set our goals high, right? Gods? Uh, it might be two. Might be two. Maybe three. Yeah. I don't know. All right. You're right. Mm. As letters would say, smiley day. Smiley day. Dancer, we've captured your automaton preparing to disassemble. Is that true? Where can we meet if you're interested in recouping some costs? 
Out of curiosity, Ashton, what was that uh, <laughs> twisted face you just made? I was just impressed by the sheer cold calculatingness of that. I was very well done. My God. It was a little scary. It hadn't occurred to me. I would very capable. I, that's maybe part of the nature that you were created for, but I mean, what is life if not finding ways to buck the supposed reasons for creation and carving its own path? I hope you're right, but I'm not alive. <laughs> should, uh, should, uh, should we be concerned about um, if Odahan sees you? Well, you've seen her in your dreams, but she hasn't seen you in. I'm pretty sure she's aware of who she is. She's in my dreams. How do you know that? I guess I don't. It just feels that way. Do you talk to her in your dreams? I have. Oh. Hmm. What's what is said? Um. So far, she just said interesting and kind of lunged at me. Oh. And then I woke up feeling like she'd maybe killed <laughs> me. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, it's not a good it's indicator. Not okay. I that I was no. expecting. Perhaps we should just maybe try and keep you a bit more concealed. I, I mean, I'm, I can do that. Sure. Or we don't worry about it because she wouldn't want to fuck with Bell's Hells. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But look, yeah. we got to have a little confidence in our identity sure. if we're going to pull this off. I do get the impression that she uh. maybe controls a large force of very strong fighters. And so maybe she wouldn't be too intimidated by us. Not just Paragon's call, you mean. Exactly. Beyond. He seems much nicer than I expected him to be. You know, just very, like, accommodating. And yeah, when I mean, he's not trying to, like, armor classes put on the front. Uh, you can communicate with us wherever you are. Right. I just hide on it and just send y'all messages. Hard to know. Okay. Oh. Well, so I could do it. First. I'll be right back. Anyone want to come with me? Well, where are you where going? Where are you going? Ashton, Orem. To poop? What? I'm going to go get that fucking ring. Oh, God. You're There's leaving? no way to get out. They're not going to let you out of the. They said we yeah, can come. We can come, come and go. go. Yeah. We can come and go. Shit. I'm going Sorry. if anyone wants to come. Oh, I'm coming. I Do you have your goggles and a mask? Hold on. Be safe. I will. I I'll be right back. I promise. I'm. You better be. Yeah, you need an company. I'm, I'm going to fucking go. Right. A local. Come on. Yeah. If you want something, just get it. What? Sir? Just. Mm. What? Life is short. Life is short. Life is very short. Why did you have to say that so, like. Man, if you want something, get it. It's right here. Hmm. <sighs> mm. You deserve something nice. If you see something, get it. It's been a while. Oh, you mentioned fresh cut grass and Imogen, and I think where we have our similarities is that we've resigned ourselves to not being able to fix what's deep down inside. But if we can give them the life we never had. I can even think that there's ways to work around it. I don't know. I worry about you. I suppose that's what I'm trying to say. Did you steal the ring? Oh yeah, we got it. Why are you talking so loud? Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, oh, yeah, you've been it was, shouting. Yeah, it was really, it was so yeah, loud okay. In, in, inside, side voice. We got it. Yeah, yeah. We didn't steal it. No. Oh my God, I paid a fortune. For we that. just paid it, we just paid for it. That's it. successful though. Yes, yeah. yes, we do have it. It wasn't really a good opportunity. They were just, we were sure. the only ones and yeah, yeah. They'll never suspect a thing. <laughs> it rocks, and even those of you who are running in Team Tresh, you hear this distant muffled <laughs> inside the stone walls. I'm sure it's fine. Seat of disdain. Uh, those of you outside, 
Uh, you hear you... in your head, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> and the entire structure begins to collapse downward. Oh no, Mister. Uh, Go to Lana. <laughs> <laughs> Storm I just um, say to Imogen, I'm not sure if there's going to be much of a crawler left to plant this ring. Like a weapon. I'm gonna command Treshy. What do you command? In. Oh, oh right, one bitch. word. That's right, one bitch. word. Go. Because Come as on. you climb up over the balcony, the first thing you see is you are about one foot from Otohan Thule, who is just standing at the balcony and watching. Just watching all of this. And suddenly you just and just kind of looks down, dark eyes, kind of looking you right in the face. Hello, darkness. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? We're making trigger decisions. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Chaos. There's, there's an immediate look of like, what? Before all of a sudden the entire balcony shush, is immersed okay. in darkness. I'm going to then loop around her. Oh, no. I'm trying to plant this fucking ring on Otohan. Oh. 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 Uh, so as you dart past, Otohan is, God, what a good idea. is immediately is just confused by this, but is moving very quickly. She's at the same time moving back to unsheathe the weapons and pull them free. I'm trying to like, um, ooh, don't touch, no touch. So you go ahead and you go to place right, it up inside and you're like, great. And as soon as you get it placed in its positioning, she spins with the blades out and you're, you immediately take the full brunt of a oh. round of attacks. She yep. cannot But I placed, I placed the ring. The ring as is As far out. as you're aware. Oh no. Okay, uh, and, and I still have mirror image. You do. So the first strike, it's going to be uh, 17. Mm, she hits a mirror. She poof, darts off one of the mirror edges of it, um, the, the, the version wall. She can't even see. She's kind of going off of the sense of where you might be and strikes one of the mirrors. I love that you're just going after Ahsoka right now uh, <laughs> in the dark. That's going to be a natural one with a disadvantage. Nice. Second Miss. strike misses. The third one uh, is going to be a 21 to hit. Hits a mirror. No damage on that round. Yes. Well, they're just surrounded by raids. Like you hear in the darkness, her voice go, "Whoever you are, your timing is curious." I jump off the balcony. I'm gonna wait till I get almost all the way down, and then feather fall. Okay, she cannot see yes, you anyway. So, so swings wide, thinking you're in the same space you are. Doesn't realize that you were gonna jump right back off the same balcony you came from, and you woof, out of the dark orb off the side of this dust surround, like cloud encased fortress. Zoof, fall three stories down, kind of tumbling backward, riding yourself in the middle of the air as your bones crack into it's place. Like, it's like um, like when you see cats fall in slow motion, it's kind of like that, but I kind of like <laughs> crack yep. my bones and then and land. slip around. Oh, ah. come here. Ah. Hey, I think they were driving around on that thing. Let's go. Okay. Where's ah. everybody else? I don't know. Imogen? In the interim. Imogen? Lana. What's, is everything all right? We um commandeered a crawler. Great. Uh, we're we we got Trishy. We're on our way out. Meet us out front. Oh, all right. Our ton of in tow. Whoa. Oh, go. <laughs> oh. Jesus, I'm just going. <laughs> Somebody better get on this thing. <laughs> is it full? No, there's well, only two of us now on this thing, and he's little, and you're light. So get on. All right, I jump on with Orem and before it was not Odahan. No, it's the ground is going to sort of rip open and red light's going to pour out and just a sphere of storm is going to erupt around her and I'm casting I'm casting hungry torrent okay you're casting what excuse me so hungry hungry torrent as this kind of well, here we go. This dark red rift oh kind of God. flash opens up and this deep red and purple light begins to swirl around Odahan as she walks forward in the direction of all of you. There's like a, a look of recognition in her eyes as it begins to swarm around. So all three are destroyed. And as the tendrils kind of lick around her and she kind of like just strikes it off. And as it kind of like begins to whip around her, she just kind of glances towards you. Hello again. Oh shit. I'm I'm standing by the A little closer to Orem. Yeah. She takes another step towards Imogen. That's okay. enough. I'm gonna just in your head. Anything? You're just gonna hear. Run. As you're kind of rushing around the corner, you hear. 
And right as you go to turn, you watch apparate in front of you the dark shadow of Odahan. One of the echoes kind of flickers into being, and you look over your shoulder, and she goes, Can't run from this, my dear. And it's going to go ahead and rush into a flurry of strikes on you. <gasps> you are not prone. Okay. She's going to take a secondary strike on you on the ground. Yep. The echo is going to take the third strike on you on the ground as well. Mm-hmm. You're the only one in range, Ladna. Yeah. I'm sure it hits. That's, that's an auto crit. You fail two death saves. I roll right? Or no, I just. No, you just fail two death saves mm. from a critical melee. Because I was sympathetically binded to her. To Lautna? To Lautna. Where do I, I. I binded to you two. Do oh. I feel anything? I will say you feel this kind of exhale. Like the bind, I will say, doesn't, doesn't loose, but you would, you would sense it. Dire straits have come. Ah. And she shouts out, You're missing the party. Run all you want. You're just running and leaving them to die. I'm going to say, Laudna, where are you? No response. I'm gonna fuck. Go, get out. I'm gonna step out. Do not come back here. <laughs> From behind. No. That's what she wants. And I'm gonna cast fly on myself. Okay. And fly 60 feet up in the air. Oh boy. This will be a big one here. And in Odahan's head, I'm just gonna scream, ENOUGH! Let's end this. Ladna, is your old death safe for me, please? Yeah! Yeah! God fucking damn it. Oh, this is it, kids. This is it. No problem. Delilah, take the wheel! Natural 20, is it natural 20? It's a natural 20. <gasps> is it really? <laughs> you saw it, you see it, right? You see it. Holy right? shit! Oh 20. my god. <laughs> hey, you get knocked down. Jesus. And then you get up again. I will never question you. Yeah, ever no, again, it's Delilah. 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 Girl luck for life. In the middle of the shadow, <laughs> deep in your spirit, as the darkness threatens to that consume doesn't you. doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> She's got more plans for you. That doesn't make any fucking oh, sense. Wait, 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 that listen, is so listen, stupid. Listen, I'm listen. sorry. In the deep shadow, before the darkness begins to curl and take you, <sighs> not yet, my child. We have much to do. Clear your eyes. <laughs> Shoot open. Just, but they're full. No one can see, but they're full black as I just. <coughs> black comes out. <coughs> but that happens at the top of your round, so you still have a round if you'd like to take it. I mean, it would have been cool if you had just died and then your husk of a body just started killing everybody, but I guess that's kind of second fiddle by now. <laughs> Can't believe that. Uh, I'm going to kind of just roll over and. <laughs> Crawl around to the back of this house. Okay. Not expecting to see this fucker, and I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast him. <laughs> the echo of Odahan that was like around the corner, stepping blades out, just and scatters into dust and darkness. And um and you're on the ground. And I'm still kind of on the ground. I'm gonna uh, stand up, but I'm just gonna kinda lean up against the windowsill. Okay. Um freak the fuck out of my mind. Okay. And then, and then, I will say, just with a, as raspy with a, whatever air I can choke out. Imogen. Oh. Okay. All right. Odahan here, like thrashing, stops for a second, looks at Imogen, and like the rest. Goes, Your friends are extremely obnoxiously resilient. Yeah. Perhaps I've been going about this the wrong way. I should be more complete with my job. Tears just streaming down my face. 
I'm going to fly down and forward with my hand outstretched, both of them towards her. And I'm going to just scream, leave my friends alone. But it's going to echo in her head painfully, screech, and at level three, I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers. As you blast her mind, she's like, and darts off in the direction, like, and then turns around and spins, kind of grabbing her face, looks up. Good. 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 I'm just going to peek around the corner of the house. And you see Imogen up in the air, (laughs) angrily flying, just energy, reddish purple energy, just kind of. I'm going to send a message to Odahan. Okay. The Moontide Crown. Ira. We know where he is. Do you want it? You have to stop. Suddenly turns the head and looks at you as the message hits. Looks up at you, Imogen. You hear in your head. Is this true? Looks back over at Ladna. Hmm. You speak some truth. Then tell me. Or she raises the blade up ahead once more. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Sands? We got a direction. Continue. You've seen the ley lines? Ley lines. Ley lines. I know where they're converging. Converging. So do I. Looks back up to Imogen. You're so close. Mm. But what does that mean? What'd she say? That's going to be so a crit. You failed two death saves. You're out. I'm out. Fern, in the final moments. Oh, oh my fucking consciousness god. Consciousness and life on this realm, as the blade rests above you. What do you do? What do you say? That was a hell of a run. Strikes that third strike into Chetney and looks up at you once more. The more you run from it, the more you lose. There is greatness in you, and our fate is soon. Embrace it. Or be cold like the rest. You feel this kind of, this energy in your stomach. That same energy that is in the center of that storm and every nightmare you've had, and it scares you, and you fight it. It's like staring into the worst nightmare, and it's calling you. Mm. That storm rages in your belly. <laughs> Do you fight it? Emperor wants you to bow. I'm not losing them to just surrender to you. You're not surrendering to me, but to your nature. I'll fly down. I'll fly down towards her. I'll reach my hand towards her. There's no logic. <laughs> but before I land, I'm gonna, I'm gonna witch bolt at third level. Okay. So my hair's gonna fly up, my eyes are gonna flash white. 
I'm just gonna hit her with everything I got. As the arc of energy fires out and strikes her, it impacts and spreads throughout the torso, and she seems to drop a blade, reach up, and almost grab the tether. I'm gonna hit the ground <laughs> and hold on to it. Come on. You're so close. Make a wisdom saving throw. I reused your six. Right? Sixteen, I did. Sixteen. Okay. That same kind of burning in your belly, the, the like the weird, growing, alluring, calling sensation somewhere deep in your soul, in the very essence of every fiber of your being, is going. And she sees it. There's a grin on her face. There's an excitement, like a teacher waiting for a student to have a breakthrough. Does that finish your turn? I'm gonna glance over at FCG. And you're just gonna hear, you have to save them. I know. And I'm gonna fly down to her. You let them go. You give in, or you all die. We only need the strongest of us. Wither and Bloom on top of both of them. Introducing my dad. Wither and Bloom on both of them. Okay. On top of Chetney and Odahan. Is that a constitution save? Yep. That is going to be a 15? Fail. Fail, all right. Hit roll, five damage to Odahan. Five damage to Odahan. And you get to roll a hit dice and come up. A hit dice? Yeah, whatever, Watch. Your, whatever your hit dice is. And able to control um, mm -hmm. the rage and the, the Delilah's force. I'm going to do a, a form of dread again. I'm spooky now. <laughs> okay, there you go. In the corner. At the end of your turn, Ladna. I'm fucking useless. Right? As the tether's being held, Wither and Bloom <laughs> goes off. Chetney comes out of consciousness. She looks over, looks at you. Is she your favorite? I'll go with you. I give in. Don't hurt her. Ah, but you see, you don't just choose to give in. You let go when the moment's right. And she's gonna go ahead and use legendary action to dash. Rushes up, blades out, looks over her shoulder, over towards you, Imogen. You watch as she strikes once, a second time, and Laudna falls back, while Laudna's still falling in the air. Third strike. As she's falling back in the air from that second strike, she immediately takes the second blade and jams it up through her back, which pierces out of the sternum. And while holding her still aloft, kind of a reverse Sephiroth situation, Laudna held in the air, just looks over at you. It's your turn. That burning in your stomach is screaming. It is bellowing. I don't have like anything. Can you wish bolt again? I'm gonna bonus action and get a second level spell back. How to make it stop. The minion. Uh. What are you doing? That call is screaming to you. Do you continue to resist? I'll go with you. She just 
holds her there. Let go and give in to your nature. She pulls the blade from law in her body, falls to the ground with a dark spatter across the rock, throws the blade up, catches it. I'm gonna close my eyes, open them and scream, and scream dissonant whispers out in her head again. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Imagine. Don't resist. I can feel your anger growing in your natural one. God! As that burning storm burns up from within, you feel like a tidal surge pulling you under, like the dark abyss of the ocean swallowing you up, but it's nothing but red, warm, crackling fury. And as it does, the entire landscape around you just turns red. The dust storm, the wind freezes. The sand just kind of frozen in the air. Those of you who are still here notices the coloration of this entire region of the city turns a deep, deep red. Odohan looks back at you. Yes. Yes. This is it. The rest of you looking at Imogen. Her hair fully extended and levitating. Her skin a deep crimson hue. Where you saw the thin bolts that had stretched at parts of her are now light and glowing and now encompass whole facets of her body. As she stands there lifting, the very space around her <laughs> shakes and adjusts. And as you scream one more time uncontrollably, all that pain, all that fury, all that vengeance within, as you unleash it, you watch as all the buildings tear away, the bricks crackling around like a whirlwind. The rest of you are pulled throughout and with one final scream, white. Lana. Here beyond the edge of death, the light envelops you. You remember soundlessly the lush forests of the Parchwood surrounding the edges of your family home. You remember the warmth of the fire under the hearth and the comfort of a stew's smell of filling the air as your family gathers for dinner. Dinner. An impossibly long, decadent table. Watchful guards. The Dark Lord and Lady speaking wordlessly in the dread that fills your heart. Her gaze meets yours. A gaze that never stops. You see her at the edge of your vision always. Her shape creeps beyond every blink. Her words mingle with your own. You fear you may lose yourself. Are you yourself? Or just her? Incubating? I am of his blood. I will endure. My will is unrelenting. You are my vessel in life, on life, in beyond. I will endure. Imogen. Uh -huh. Your entire body and spirit shakes into energy, a cosmic mass of vibration and power. You feel your body pulse and burn, unstable and threatening to burst, wanting to explode. You wince and hold yourself with all your might, your eyes tightening shut. You are walking, toppling over a rock by a swaying tree. A hand catches your clumsy form just as it strikes the dirt. You cry loudly, silently, as your eyes meet hers. Her lavender hair tied up over her ears in a long braid. Your smile, her smile, calms your tears to a still. She wipes your cherub cheeks and lifts you into her arms. She speaks to you wordlessly. In your mind, you know everything is all right. She suddenly looks concerned. Her face snaps away into the distance. 
intensity. You open your eyes once more, and there in this vacant space crackling before you, you see Odohan staring back, her body crackling with the same type of energy as yours. You are a true predator, a gift in their image. If you can be as strong as we can, to deny your nature is to be consumed by it. To embrace it is to master your own fate. I am proud of you. The voice of Liliana echoes in your mind. Run, Imogen. Run. Lotta. Right now, Lotta. Oh. You are next in the initiative order oh, when we last no. left off. Wait, Do the roll death her? saving throw. What is it? No. What is it? What, bad or good? What is it? I can't see it. Natural one. <gasps> Laudna, in the final moments before you expire, please explain to me what crosses your mind. I imagine it would be confusion, flashes of all of the powerful women in her life, Imogen, Fern, her mother, Delilah, as Delilah is still there. But still powerful. As the darkness begins to creep in and carry you to whatever threshold lays beyond, an oddly familiar threshold, this is a line you've walked for many years. And as the dark curtain begins to fold in, you feel her arms wrap around you. As Delilah embraces you from behind and whispers in your ear, Worry not, child. Death is but a waiting game. As Lodna's final breath escapes, and she lies still, cold. Who's next in the initiative order? Oh my god! Uh, uh, that's FCG. FCG! Uh, can I, mean, I see? Only one way to find out. That's true. I'm what sure I can say no. We'll say Lorna? Where's my mom's fucking Lorna? I reach out with my mind. There's nothing there to reach back. <laughs> I, I run out a few steps to see if I can spot her. I'm looking around everywhere. You run past Chetney off to the space, and just as you get to the edge of your movement, about there, in the rubble of one of the nearby buildings, you see a hand limply <gasps> on the outside. I'm going to take off as far as I can to, to her. Okay. You can get just within I'm reach of her. I'm going to start pulling rubble off of her. <laughs> just slap her. Beating the shit out of her. Pulling rubble off of her and try to get her unburied. <laughs> Probably still not alive, lying. But we I'm might not thinking at all about fucking Trash Armand. I, got an, I can see what the fuck is going on over there. I believe from my from my vantage. You glance around and look, and indeed you see Imogen just beelining over towards the rubble and beginning to brush it just away, just pulling it off of what you can just I see the outer so the outer shoulder and arm <laughs> of a limb. And in a second, start helping. Okay. Um, and. Can, can you call Gianna Hexum? What? Can you, can you message Gianna Hexum? Fuck Gianna Hexum, what? Tell her I will do anything. Tell her whatever she needs. Fuck. I'm just going to start digging in. Okay, Imogen. You've taken around with Ashton's help and you've cleared what, what little bit of debris may have fallen off the nearby structure that was 
now barely, st- what little bit of rubble there still stands after the strange occurrences of recent moments. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm just going to put Laudna's head in my lap and brush her forehead off and say, come back, come back. Okay. And I'm going to. Um, Uh, reach into my pocket um, and get out the the rock that um, Fern hid in there. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say, I know you're there, you bitch. I know you still want her. I'm gonna put the rock on Laudna's chest. Okay. With her hands over top of it. Okay. Finish your turn. Fern, you're up. What the fuck do you mean, Orem is dead? Yes, 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 I can, I can, um, I've, I've never done this before, but. How do I do this? You, you just, you just, Touch him and say something to him, or what the fuck do we do? <clears throat> On his head. I do not like this fucking choice. Um, I'm going to. We got 18 seconds. Fuck it. How, can I grab her and dash towards towards the center too? I am making eye contact with you as I grab her. <clears throat> I'm going to, can I tuck the, the rock into her shirt because I don't want it to fall away at Sure. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to drag her too. We got two down. Don't drag her! Pick her up! I'm picking her up. I'm not going to dust the fucking ground with a <laughs> rag doll. All right, you pick her up and kind of. Full speed. Fireman's carry. Turn around and dart off. Roll by on Roll by on Refresh. 40. That's as far as you can get. I mean, like. I, I can. I can. Do we walk. know if there's if if your either of them can, can do can do a, a re- what's your speed thirty thirty five? Oh do we know if either of them can can pull somebody out from death or do we not know? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna just. I don't feel like I give them. Anything. Walk back. I think it's a look at going. That's neat. In a state of shock, and just saying I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Imogen, I don't know what to do. I don't want to. I don't want to put a choice on you. I don't know what to do. The only thing I know, and, and, and it's a horrible thing to think, is that Aladdin has come back before. <clears throat> but I don't want to. I don't want to say Orem if it means that Aladdin has gone forever. Are you flipping a coin I have right a coin. now? Well, sure, but this one's made of platinum. You could use a wooden one. I have one from a god. Oh, that's good too. I mean, listen, you can suffer with the grief of this decision, or you can just let it go. I was just given this coin by by Imahara Joe. Okay. And it's, it's from a, fucking coin it's for their for, from a god. I don't know, does that, does that make this, we well, could say a prayer. I could say a prayer. Who would you pray to? Well, this, the person, this, the, this what coin. What is that god? It's the change bringer. Well, they're certainly bringing change. Maybe, maybe we can pray to Laudna's god, and she'll bring her back. And then I can bring back Orem. You Fine. know. Flip the coin. Oh, do you want to? Ch- do you want to choose which one's Laudna, Imogen? I don't. I. I don't get to go. You, you don't. Okay, okay. I'm gonna send a message to Delilah. You better bring her back. I know you want to be in this world, and she's your only way here. Get your ass down here and bring her back. Yep, got it. Poor thing. I would if I could. But I ask you to bring her back to, for both of us. 
Anything. Did she give you an answer? She's still fucking weak. That fucking bitch. Oh, oh God. I'm gonna go to Laudna. Sort of push her hair to the side. We'll find a way back for you, I promise. <gasps> Sorry, I, this is, I don't know what to do. It, it's the coin's fault. You can, we can be met at the change bringer later. <sighs> oh, I don't like how this is making me feel. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I'll go to Orem. <laughs> Just gonna gather him up. friend um uh, can you please come back because I'm getting a little scared and we need we need your help we've done we've done everything we can so far no, no. no. what are you doing I'm What do we do, though? But what do we do? Because we always gonna, do something. I'm gonna grab the portable hole off. Off. Uh, um, who has it? I have it in my shirt. I'm apologize. I'm just gonna grab it. Fucking throw it down. I'm gonna just fall on my knees and then pull on the. Imogen, I'm sorry. Um. Okay. You'll just keep hearing your out. heads over and over again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, Orin's gonna stumble off in that direction and just start yelling, help. Can you pick her up, pick her up, Ashton? I'm gonna unfold the hole and put her in the No, hole. do not put her in the hole. Where else are we gonna put She's her? She's gonna be in there with Armand and just rattling around. No, you carry her. You fuck. carry her to Joe's. Oh, fucking... Okay. Fuck! As you pick her up and lift her, the rock that you placed within her grasp kind of tumbles free and hits the ground. I'll pick it back up. Okay. Full fucking speed, I guess. Uh, Restruction. I'm just gonna stay on the ground next to Laudna. Is she all right? No. I finished putting it down. I appreciate that on Laura's notepad, the whole page just reads, Laudna is dead. <laughs> <laughs> well. It technically says Laudna is dirt. <laughs> That's a note. Laudna oh, no. is dead. There's not, is there at least a smile, a, a, a sad fur? <laughs> no. That's it. Laudna is dead. She is. Can you guide him again? Your turn to guide you this shit. Can we can use wait. my dude? I'm at one hit point. Sure, you could we could hold my hand yeah, and use minutes. me as a as a as a tool. Okay. This is a hard conversation. We got to talk out what we're gonna do next. Yes, we have to warn Ashtaros. And next, we fix that. Fix okay. what? Laudna. <sighs> oh, Laudna. We are fixing that. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. Yep, Who get... can fix this, though? We will fucking Maybe find them. If Estoros is, is running away, I mean, if we're gonna tell him he's in grave danger, he's not gonna be able to help but us with But he's powerful, this. maybe he knows people, he maybe he knows. But if he's running away from something, we how's will... he gonna help us? If he can't can, help us, we will fucking I can at least send him a message, maybe course, he knows of, of someone that can help what us. Is there... My Nana can bring people back. What? Has she done it before? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh yeah. Your nana? Where? Where? Where's your nana? Well, she's in the fair realm, but <sighs> how, how do we get we there? Get there. I, I don't know. There is the Lord and Lady of Laudna's hometown. Whitestone. Yes. Um, she was brought back once there. Maybe going there could bring yeah, back by, that same. By Delilah. But they know everything there yeah. is to so know. Yes. So we talked to Delilah and get her to bring her back again. I tried. 
Maybe she has to be there or something. Delilah is gone. But like in the city, how did she get her back the first time? I don't know, she was powerful. She was really powerful. Delilah's gone where? Delilah lives in Laudna's head. She, she's not a, a physical being anymore, at least not, not according to Laudna. But she's real, right? Well, yes, yeah, she's still some powerful entity. I, I thought she was like a goddess or something. I, but she certainly didn't respond she, when she I- She is powerful. She's not a goddess. The Dorolos know everything there is to know about that woman. That's one option. Another is calling my boss. Can she bring people back? Usually. She can bring people back? But, but wait, I thought, I thought it, I mean, how, how long can Laudna be? I don't, I don't know, but we could reach out to her, you could reach out to her. And she could maybe, not here, but she could come here. This is weird, but if we can figure out the right, sorry, tree, she could come here. Um, so we call the airship. Yeah. It picks us up. Yeah. And then, Hopefully, by the time it gets here, which is in a day, then we'll know where calls. we're going. And if she can come, and we stay here for a day, and then we can leave. Sure. Go I back know. where she came from. Imogen, do you think someone needs to take care of Pate and Sashimi? I use my telekinesis to lift Pate up. Yeah, we should take care of him. Oh, I'm horny. Oh, I got in troubles. It's really, it feels icky. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking away from that shit. <laughs> really only really makes sense when she does it. I'm just gonna keep him. I'll keep him on my belt for now. You slowly, just meticulously making wooden copies, thin slivers of my cookies. Okay. Go ahead and roll a, roll a, a dexterity or intelligence in check, your choice, uh, plus your proficiency modifier. So the blood runs from Okay, I'm going to and pump it. You saw no fall. Oh, 24. 24. No cracks in my heart. To the point where you even take a moment to polish. Tate mm. is just petting. Okay. Laudna's head. And oh, or, Orm's so creepy. <laughs> Orm's gonna sit down, crisscross applesauce, and hold Laudna's hand. Okay. I'm gonna walk over to Imogen. I'm gonna fucking fix this, okay? You trust me? I'm gonna fucking fix this. What are you gonna do? Whenever we have to. Don't panic, you help if you want. And I'm gonna lay some of the Paragon Call blankets down and then gently wrap Ladna up so that, and then tie it together so she'll be easier to carry and not be a cadaver that we're running around with. Okay, okay. Like a Bjorn sash? Or I mean, you've seen like a, like a mummy. Like a spell. Make the body last longer. I would say that the whole time I also couldn't stop thinking about Fool and thinking how uh, seeing Imogen reminded me of my own day uh, six years ago and how much there's to do. So I didn't have the dream that Laudna walked into the storm like Bertrand did. Not a moment, though. Okay, that's comforting. For Laudna's sake, we gotta stick together. And be honest with each other, and... That was, what did you do? It when was like a boof. I lost control, I don't, I felt more in control than I'd ever been at the same time. There's so much. I know we're all a little unsettled, but 
and obviously Miss Laudna, but how do you feel after that? Do you feel the same, different? Um, it's hard to tell, Chet, because I feel really sad. Right. Um, I feel like there's a bit of a like a fuzziness at the back of my brain, if that makes sense. Little pinpricks that weren't there before. Orm just abruptly hugs her around the knees, above the knees. You hear her down by your thigh. We're real sorry, Imogen. I'm so sorry. I feel like if I hadn't run away, none of this would have happened, and you guys wouldn't be hurting, and Lana wouldn't be gone, and I... I just thought we were all running, and then she just kept coming for us. We were. We, we were running. running. We had to. And she wouldn't have even gone after you if... It's like she was trying to... trying to make me... break. How do they make you feel? Up until yesterday, they kind of felt good. I mean, at first they were terrible. They let everyone in town know I was different, you know? And then as soon as I realized I could defend, like, when I defended Lana when she came to town, then it was like, they were, they were proof that I was stronger than I thought I was. But now it just feels like evidence. It looks like proof to me. You fucking saved us. Yeah. You saved all of us, and we're gonna save her too. We will. And that's proof that you're gonna be able to fucking do it. Yeah. I don't wanna give it in. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be like, Odahan. So don't. That's some hero yeah. shit, man. Don't. We've got to save Laudna. I yes, just. <sighs> I'm really sorry. So am I. I... I'm glad y'all are back. Thank you, FCG, and you, Fern. What did I do? Well, you brought back Fern. Oh. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Undo her shroud so I can reach her face. Um, I can, I'll just place two <laughs> copper coins on her eyes and a sprinkle of salt. And um, I don't have I don't have lips. So I'll lean down and give her a kiss on the forehead. Thank you. And I'll cast gentle repose on her. Mm-hmm. All right. You focus on her body, her corpse, her, her essence, of whatever earthly connection still remains with the uh, currently absconded spirit that you know as Ladna. You complete the ritual and there's a flash of kind of vibrant, warm, orangish light around it. And none of you pick it up, but you do. A weird sense that the spell definitely headed something off at the pass. We lost Laudna. Do you know of someone powerful enough to bring her back? Tell us what to do. Oh, um, one of the things that Laudna did before um, was to uh, plant the ring 
on Odahan. It might have been one of the things that got her attention. Um, but it's 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 not showing her anywhere. Oh, it's good to have it though. Is there anything else? Well, <clears throat> so ugh. we're going back to Fusar. What can we just just check in real quick? I know we're all still sort of shell shocked, but. Like what? What are our next steps and priorities? Astros knows we're coming. Two different places. Yeah, and, we gotta, but we gotta um, get Laudna up first. Yeah, of all course. of this stuff is pointless until we. Yeah, ultimately, fool, what she's doing, she's not done, and she's interested in you, obviously, and now she's got a bead on Estoros. I mean, we're all just waiting at this point, and we don't know anything about her, so we need to find out about her and what the hell she's doing. But we can't let Laudna. So we work on that, and then we figure out, and we find the Grim Verity. We go to Eos, and we figure out what the fuck this woman is doing, because she's not going to stop. Would it help everyone if we, you know, like, took a moment and at least said a proper goodbye to Laudna? Why would you say gone. goodbye? Well, I mean, that's what y'all soul people do when someone... Oh, you mean like a, like a memorial or a funeral? Or, yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like that book's closed just yet, though. It's a good thought, though. I'm not really a big fan. Because you seem to be, you know, a special case. Oh, Sorry. Maybe I can try to talk to Laudna's Delilah and see if she knows um, how to do it. Can I talk to her? I think that's a good idea. Maybe. I, obviously, friend. like we're on a on a time limit with everything happening, <sighs> but I feel like this this has got to be more important, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know what we are. Yeah, we're truth seekers, but at this point, guys, we're friends. We got to look out for our friend. Of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do. But we have to do it smartly and. We can't also lose sight of the fact that, you know, she would want to look out for us and make sure that we're safe. And... Why am I down HP? That's no. honestly one of the things that's comforted me the most. I mean, after... After Bertrand. Do you think you would mind if, just in case, I sort of looked in on your dreams tonight to make sure that if something does pop up, we we can see it from all perspectives? Honestly, I'd like the company. Um, I'm a little scared to sleep right now. Okay. More than usual, which is saying something. Sure. Found the assassins. Found lead. But there are questions. One of ours down. Strong ties to Whitestone. Please advise. You meet. There's a brief pause before the clear voice of the Tempest returns on the other end of your spell. I appreciate your update. Tell Orem I've business in Vasselheim, but can meet shortly. 
pick a tree. She said, uh, she said thank you. Uh, she said she had important work to do in Vasselheim, mm -hmm. um, but she could meet soon. And she said, pick a tree. Yeah, um, she, <laughs> there's a thing she does. She, uh, we have to find a very unique tree and she'll uh, walk through it. Amazing. I will have slept with it open. I'm just gonna sleep in the hole next to Lotta's body. Okay, okay. All right, everyone, hold on if you got something to hold on to, hold on to it. If there's something that's extremely worth holding on to and worth a lot, put it below deck. Close up the hole. Oh, I mean, yeah, the yeah, hole sorry. is closed yeah. Yeah. and very good. secured. Alrighty. I want to throw our friend back into the hole, but I would also like to take our friend out of the hole if we're going to do that. Um, yeah. I don't want him in there with her. No, me neither. So, gondola comes to rest at the oh, base of the course thanks. by her. Thank you. I'm gonna find a corner now that we're off to put air into the, into the hole. I will All have right. cast huh? calm emotions on myself. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you were <laughs> <Good swing. laughs> mm. Very calm about everything. Right. Stepping off the gondola, the jungle birds have taken their nightly loud. Squawk sessions as the daylight begins to fade, and you can hear the various songs of the various you know, aviary like cacophony throughout the jungle. Your head is on a swivel for anyone you think you. watching, looking. Are we being I'm just staring at the windowed wall. 19. 19. Okay. Heading to Eshcross. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Quickly. You make a beeline. For his manner. You approach, front door is closed. You knock. And they will hear me roar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking, Orm? So give well, me hope in the dark. She's looking for him, right? I mean, we don't know how ever present she is or not. Do we maybe want to. I can be able to learn. I don't know, curry favor, or maybe they know someone who can help with Laudna. Maybe. That do might you, be a way to go. Have mm -hmm. you done any research yet? Do you know? Um, what you are asking for is an extremely rare and difficult ritual. The ability to bring someone back from the dead is a very lauded and sought after uh, technique. Very few can perform this miracle, and those that do are very careful and meticulous with who they do it for. Otherwise, death would be merely an inconvenience. Um, in my connections here, I do not have anyone who is capable of this, but I do have connections that can uh, possibly get you elsewhere, should you find someone who can. Okay, that doesn't really help us right now unless we need to get to your person or yeah. the Lila person. Uh, My apologies. No, no. I can okay. keep looking, but it's, it's uh, a huge help. such miracles on short notice are challenging for even the most powerful. And well, I am not of the most influential of figures, obviously. At some point, we may need some sponsorships, so. At the very least, we may uh, ask you for some of that. Well, I am happy to do so. Beyond whatever bounty may be gathered, you have done me a great service in helping close the loop of this individual. And with that, I have my own rewards for you as well. Oh. Um. We're still waiting. We still need your help. Is your business finished? I'm begging you. Orem is begging you.
there is a bit of a concerning pause at first before she comes through once more. I'm sorry. I believe I'm nearly finished here. I'll see what I can do. I don't fully understand what's being asked, but I'll try. Does she know how to bring someone back? She can't, she knows people who can. But I don't wanna be too late, so if we need to jump on a different path, then we should just do it. She's not so righteous that she would turn us down. No. No, um, Lana was born and reborn over there, so it's the best idea I got. Okay. Oof. Something about how they killed those folk, they couldn't be brought back. But, but we, was that, was the sort of magic that they used or tried to use to bring Will? Will and my father were cut down and something about the nature of their was it the same spell that I used and Fern used to bring them back that failed? Or was it a different magic? I don't know what you do, letters. Was it quickly after their? Yeah, pretty soon after. And it didn't work? No. Okay. But I didn't watch, I didn't see Fool on the ground that day. I, I saw. Others. Uh, others like the, okay. the shadows she had with her. Masked up, dark, clad. Well, yeah, I mean, we just keep trying. Do you want to do something now here? Yeah, I don't want to wait. Let's, uh, let's drop the problem off, see what kind of noise it makes, find ourselves somewhere to sleep tonight. Uh, can we keep Lana's body here? There are fewer, safer places in the city for her to be. Thank you. Of course. Before we do, I know it's uncomfortable, but this is the best road to getting her back. I'm sure she has stuff that we could use. We'll give it back to her later. It'll be funny. Yeah. <gasps> She'll laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Really I smart. want nothing yeah. more than to destroy her. <laughs> Do you have any, oh sorry. No, go on. <clears throat> Do you have any leftover baked goods? Maybe like, like your ginger snap cookies or something? I have a batch, but they're probably quite stale. I have not cooked with the expectation of guests in some time. That's okay. Just, can you keep some <clears throat> with Laudna in case she wakes up and gets hungry, because she loves your baked goods so much? Just in case. A smile creeps across his bearded, orcish lips, and he nods from behind his glasses. I think I can arrange a fresh batch for the morning. Both for her and for you, whatever you're off to. I'm just gonna stare. It's so sad, this vial. So sad. No, you put your own blood in it, but when the attunement ends, it turns to ash. So I took what I thought was a vial of blood off of Laudna's neck, and it was just a, a vial, vial of ash. ash. Oh! That's real sad. It's really sad. <laughs> I have to like That's rough. dump it out so you can put yours in there? I'm just gonna put mine into it anyway. Okay. <laughs> just eat it. Here Potion it of possibility, everyone's got one. Right. I'll take Laudna's. Okay. Well, Once we figure out how much it is, we'll just immediately divide it up. 
And then keep a little extra And keep for aside for pot. Lana. I just sit cross-legged in a bed by myself. For... I'm with you. Okay. I want to cast a sending spell on um, fucking Delilah Briarwood. How do I bring her back? Tell me what to do. I'll do anything. The voice responds fainter, thin, fading. Whatever it takes. It won't be long now. I'm fading. And I'll take her with me. Oh. She's got nothing. Are you retrieving uh, Laudna's body, or are you leaving her with Eshtros? No, we're taking her body. We have to take her body. Oh, shit. Where are we even are gonna we go? Gonna Vasselheim? Today? Are we going to Vasselheim? We're gonna go wherever the voice of the Tempest tells us to meet her, I guess. And I will definitely be taking the body I'll be carrying. Should I send a message? I think we want to know for sure. Uh, it, Give us a sec. I'm gonna... Or I'm like gonna give a, a. I'd like you to make a wisdom saving throw uh -oh. for me if you wisdom don't saving mind. Wisdom saving throw. Correct. That's good. Uh, 21. 21? Okay. <laughs> Sent a little message on to the Tempest. Okay. Um, are you in Vasselheim still? Because you're about to have some company. Okay. So the full message? That's it. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to see where you are and met with some interference. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where are you? We're in the. Collective of Bodon, am I getting that right? Very spot. Uh, in Jusar. In Marquette. In Marquette. How much do you know? Okay, okay. It's been a little while. Got it. Is she gonna come to us or I don't know, to I can't, she's not answering any better than I'm sending. You hear the sound of the tree kind of creaking as it pushes apart and open, and there, immediately greets you stepping through this collection of extended antlers that bow down and open up as you see the flowing of long red hair that drifts past shoulders almost to the mid-back. You see a, a light orange dress that fades to a dark red burgundy to match what looks to be a mantle of thousands and thousands of autumn leaves that themselves drag across the ground behind as she steps through. A half-elven woman, looking a bit frazzled, but smiling. Orm steps forward. Hail to the Tempest. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry to pull you away from what I'm sure is important, but we didn't know what else to do. Our friend fell, and she's special. She's someone that you cross paths with once in Whitestone. Um, he looks over her shoulder at the group. Show her. All right. Right here in front of Shania Twain. Here or nothing. 
gently lay her on the ground, and I just start to open. God. As you start to, I'm holding she goes, Well, hi, I'm Keyless. <laughs> oh, hi. oh, hi, yeah, hi. We've had a weird couple days, sorry. I can see it on hi. your faces, and I've been there. Thank you. I just don't think we have a lot of time. That's a neat trick. That was very impressive. Hi. We're, we're Bell's Hells. We're like a, an adventuring party. Um, sometimes people hire us for jobs or pay us to do things, but we're, we're trying to do good in the world. It's not something that you might understand, but it's, it's what we've been doing lately. Sounds vaguely familiar. She kind of glances down as you finish revealing the body of Ladna. Might a little looked a little different the first time you met her. Was she there? Oh. You were there. Well, come then. We need to speak with some. Someone who can help you. And she turns and takes her staff and points it towards the tree that she exited from. The tree once again tears open with that loud, humming, but strangely warm sensation. And as it pulls open on the opposite side of this entryway, you see this beautiful open courtyard. You see numerous buildings across the way, along the streets. The roofs extended almost like reworked, long disused ships. You see trees and hills, and above that, on a hill, a castle. And the gentle falling of golden leaves that pass beyond the entryway. As you said, we haven't much time. But the ghosts that we knew will flicker from.